for most individuals who cannot afford private counsel. Criminal justice reform starts with a well-trained and appropriately funded legal defense. The Pennsylvania legislature has to be commended for passing a number of very important criminal justice initiatives. We have brought Pennsylvania out of the dark ages and declared that constitutionally sufficient counsel matters. So that spark of hope, we hope it will continue to, to grow and blossom. It's the combination of legislators and lawyers that care and, and community advocates who fought for this legislation. We are so grateful to the leadership of Representative Nelson, who's always been our champion in this. This work was a very much a reflection of a joint understanding of what it means to have a justice system. We've got neighbors like New Jersey where their entire system is state funded, where they're never, you're not gonna catch a PD out in a courtroom without a laptop. And that needs to become the rule in the state of Pennsylvania. And now we've got a champion in the governor's mansion. We've got a champion in, in both, uh, both sections of the legislature. Senator Hughes, Representative Nelson, truly Representative Nelson. Here in uh, Philadelphia, uh, the Defender Association represents 70% of the people arrested in the city. Almost all of them are black and brown people. Every dollar makes a huge difference in offsetting the huge funding discrepancy between Pennsylvania's public defenders and prosecutors, law enforcement, and the courts. It has taken the vision of leaders like Senator Hughes and Rep uh, uh, Representative Nelson to put public defense at the forefront of efforts to improve our criminal legal system statewide. It's about time, right? I mean, it's kind of crazy. When I heard, when I really started to understand how the state provides funding on the one side of, of the the balance, if you will, but not on the other. I was, I was appalled. This is a way to enforce our constitutional rights without equal funding for our public defenders. The result could be two victims in that courtroom, and you have Mr. Johnson here today. The one that the crime was committed against, and then the one that was accused without an obvious proper defense and unlawfully accused. I didn't have a right defense. He didn't want to do nothing. You know, and I, and I, what you gonna do, you just stuck with that. I believe this is a good program that y'all putting together. And it need to be done now, cause it's gonna be a lot of people coming in that door just like me. If we don't have equal justice, we don't have justice.